By now, you've probably seen a video of a 75-year-old man approaching police during demonstrations in Buffalo, New York. What's really going on in this clip has been the subject of intense discussion. And the man in the video, Martin Giugino, he's been subject to extraordinary scrutiny. We're going to sort out fact from fiction in this episode of the Truth of Meter Minute. Hey everyone, I'm Aaron with PolitiFact. Let's start with that video again. It was taken by a radio reporter from WBFO in Buffalo. Here it is. Police initially said that Eugenio tripped and fell. But the case is now under criminal and internal affairs investigations, and the two officers involved have been suspended. Fact check number one. Claims that this event didn't happen, rate false. There are other video and photo angles that document exactly what happened, and no one from the police to bystanders to anyone else are claiming that it didn't. Fact check number two. There is no evidence that Eugenio was trying to scan police communications or black out uh, radio frequencies that Buffalo police were using. This is something that was suggested by many, including Donald Trump. It's baseless and it rates false. Buffalo police radio frequencies are actually available online. And experts say that if you wanted to try to black out police communications, you'd do it from a far distance away, not right in front of an officer. Fact check number three. Posts on social media say Jugino is a career criminal, having been arrested 300 times, including 82 times for incitement. This too rates false. We searched internet and court databases looking for information on Jugino and his arrest history. We checked PACER, which keeps case and docket information for federal courts. We queried online databases, contacted courts or called police departments for each of the places where Jugino has lived. That includes cities and counties in Ohio, Wisconsin, California, and New York including Buffalo, where he lives now. We found four arrests on Jugino's record. In 2009, he was arrested in Orange County, California for trespassing, but he was found not guilty in that case. In 2012 and 2013, he was arrested for demonstrations near the White House. In 2016, he was arrested near the US Capitol for protesting. Four does not equal 300. You can read all the latest at politifact.com and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos like this.